Welcome guys to tips and tricks video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my top 25 tips and tricks for GTA 5 online. Uh, this is primarily for beginners, but if you are experienced, uh, hopefully there's something in it for you as well. So as you can see, I'm showing off all the tips and tricks we will be covering so I don't waste your time. And I apologize for this video being uh, long, but I wanted to go ahead and actually show how to do the different tips and tricks and what they actually look like. Tip one, expanded radar. Now, this is a very simple tip. Uh, a lot of people know this, but for the few beginners that don't, this is a very, very useful tip, especially if you are going for a high KD or you're trying to, you know, kill a lot of other players or not get killed yourself. Um, basically, it provides a much higher uh, situational awareness. Uh, it's easier to detect and avoid targets, um, especially if you're flying and you're trying to do strafing runs, bombing runs, anything of that sort. So as you can see, you come up here to settings, you go down to display, go down to expanded radar and turn that on. And then when you come out, it'll just be like that. So this is really cool because it is basically about the furthest range you're gonna get from a normal sniper unless they're highly skilled and it'll allow you to keep track of that as well. Uh, one thing to bear in mind though, is that if you're doing the Doomsday High, sometimes the expanded radar will glitch out and it will not show you the proper objectives. So you may need to switch back. All right guys, here's for uh, tip or trick number two, uh, the subway. Uh, this is a very uh, well known for most, you know, for a lot of people who have been playing for a while, but definitely underutilized for new players, uh, especially a lot of random heists I see. Uh, this will help you out in a lot of the heists, especially the one where you have to dress up as a cop and uh, steal a police car. So what you can do is you can come here and you can craze, uh, you know, create hell, get the cops on you. Um, obviously, you could, you know, already have the cops on you too. That's fine. But, and you, there's a couple different places you can enter. This is the easiest in my opinion. You know, it's next to the construction tower. Very easy landmark to remember. Um, it does not, however, work on the regular subway, uh, like the ones with just the stairs where, uh, for just human uh, pedestrian traffic, because uh, the cops will follow you down there. But for some reason, they will not follow you down, at least not all the way, on the subway entrances with just the subway tracks. So what you want to do is you want to get the cops after you and especially in the heist where you're trying to steal the police car you can uh you know shoot the first set of cops that come and steal their police car let's go ahead and demonstrate this let's go ahead and uh yeah take this guy's take this cop car over here all right all right so what you can do Take whatever vehicle you had. And like I said, this works in free mode or uh, in missions. Very useful thing to know. And this is as far, you don't even really have to go this far, but I usually come this far just to double, you know, make sure. And just sit here until you lose the cops. Hey, what's up guys? So here's for our tip and uh, trick uh, number three. Uh, so here we're going to demonstrate something I've already showed in one of my other videos, but it's definitely a good tip to know. So I'm going to add it in this for uh, beginners. So what you can do if you own the quad lens uh, helmets, any of them, um, or if you own the dual lens too, it can work with night or heat vision. Uh, you can, as long as you have your helmet equipped, you can uh, use it to bring heat or night vision onto one of the guns. And this will work in the MOC, the land MOC, and with the Avenger MOC in this one. Um, I have pretty much confirmed through different testing that I believe it only works for vehicles that you can be inside that has a loadable inside, such as the MOCs. Um, I tried it, you know, in APCs, tanks, uh, you know, different, uh, or even like the Bambushka and it doesn't seem to work, uh, it wants to deactivate. So I think the trick is you have to be inside the vehicle uh, to be able to activate it um, and then load. So I'm not sure if this is a glitch or if this is something that just Rockstar overlooked. But either way, uh, what you do is you wanna go to your interactive menu, 
you want to go to style you want to go down to where it says your helmet visor and you want to go ahead and put that down so it'll look like that now from there you want to back out of that one or sorry my bad you want to stay in that one go to accessories go down to your helmet and if you look on the bottom right corner you'll see the X activate I am playing with the Xbox controller but obviously you know it'll be it'll show you whatever key you need to push go ahead and activate it and then once you're in this heat vision mode you can walk over to one of the turns Drop shut up Dom alright you can hop on one of these and you can go ahead and start using it. And as most of you know already, these uh, turns have awesome range. And you can almost shoot about as far as you can see. And it, it uh, definitely, or at least, you know, about as far as you can uh, detect targets. And you can definitely wreck a lot of havoc with this. Four, tip number four uh, we have the telescope glitch and this is a cool uh, tip or trick actually more like a glitch that you can use to wear multiple uh, headgear devices or um, different headgear clothing outfits so as you see I have the mask and uh, the goggles and the helmet on right now uh, you can use this in combination with a lot of different things whether it be scarves um, all kinds of combinations there are some limitations and uh, but there's also a lot of cool things you can do. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate. So first of all, you want to get about 10 feet or so. It's not a big deal, but the main thing is you want to be running. And then whenever you run past the telescope, you're going to want to select the same button you would select to look through it. So it's going to look like kind of like this. And you'll know that it works whenever you lock in place like this and you lose whatever headgear you had on, other than like your mask. And as soon as you stop, you don't want to do any input. Um, that's what most people mess up is they'll continue trying to move around and they'll go out of the glitch uh, position. So you want to go ahead and once you're in this position, you bring up your interactive menu. And then from there, you can go to your style and go to accessories and just put on whatever goggles, um, whatever you know gear you want to add. Now, I should have mentioned that obviously before you do this you want to have the outfit fully done up and saved how you want it without the glitch otherwise um, it won't work as good so once you put on whatever you want to put on you just walk away and when you get about 10 feet away or so everything will spawn back on and then obviously the first thing you want to do is save it okay, so my friend shaky here is going to show you a couple of his uh, glitch outfits that he used and so let's go ahead and uh, see what he got awesome awesome all right guys so here for tip number five uh, you can get free snacks from your receptionist. Uh, you can use this at your new facility or at your CEO office. Uh, you just go here as such and select snacks and fill up on free uh, snacks. And definitely a must have for any kind of missions or anything where you need to revive your health. All right, guys, here for tip number six, right in the same vicinity, uh, we're looking at the minigun. Uh, this is a very good option if you're not high enough level to either own one yourself or somebody in your crew isn't. What you do is you just swing around over here. Walk in the back. Catch your worker looking at uh, illegal websites. And pick it up. Alright guys, so here for tip number 7. Uh, we're going to show you how you can transport a weaponized tactical vehicle in your Avenger. You can also do this in the MOC, either in the storage, obviously, or even in the mechanic shop. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is you can actually temporarily store a lot of weaponized vehicles in your mechanic shop on either MOC. And it is especially useful for the Avenger because uh, you can drop from the sky in the vehicle. You know, you can take it across the map. 
a uh, very quick mode of transportation. Um, you can do it in pretty much any weaponized vehicle. There are a few exceptions, such as the tank. Uh, the tank will not fit. Um, but a lot of, especially the new weaponized vehicles, that's the Insurgent, Surgeon Custom, the Barrage, and the APC especially, uh, you can do this and it works really good. Let's go ahead and mount up in the APC. Now kind of a bonus feature as well is whenever you are in this vehicle and you put it inside the Avenger for transportation, you can use the mechanics option as well, which will uh, allow you to repair or modify your vehicle while you're in the air, while you're on the way, you know, to a target or to, you know, to do a mission. So all you have to do is exit out, exit the vehicle. And for the APC, it can be a little bit annoying sometimes because you exit to the top, and so sometimes you'll get stuck a little bit. But it's you know it's just run around a little bit, you'll get off, and then you can just hop in your uh, cockpit and take off. All right, guys. So for tip number eight, this is a big one. This is uh, I guess one of my pet peeves. One I see a lot of people miss, uh, not just lower levels, but a lot of times lower levels, and this one is something that can make a heist for people that, like myself, who have done almost every old heist at least 50 times, uh, a lot more fun, a lot more, uh, you know, unique. And for some heists, it can actually mean the difference of actually surviving, you know, and actually being able to continue the heist um, or not. And that is having the player saved outfit selection on. Uh, a lot of people will come here, and it'll normally be set like this. Uh, when you first get in and they'll totally skip this and go down to crew full choice and believe that that is as custom as they can do because I mean why not because you you know your crew can choose whatever they want however what they don't realize obviously that's only from the preset selection of clothes if you come up here and select it over to player saved outfits they can select their own outfits now that does not work for particular highs such as the prison break end uh, finale heist um, due to the fact obviously you have to wear certain costumes uh, to be undercover as the prison guard and the officer and all that stuff and some other heists as well um, there are you know a couple of them that you this uh, this tip will not work on but a lot of them will and it definitely can make the difference it can be a lot more fun and more unique and definitely uh, add to the players uh, safety if they are able to wear their own armored outfits Tip number nine, the Akula helicopter. All right, so this is a very good stealth helicopter to use. Uh, you can lose the cops by going into it, and no matter how many stars you have, it'll immediately go down to two. And you can also use it to transport uh, your CEO crates or whatever uh, under the radar, uh, where other players will not be able to see you on the radar. So that's a very useful, very uh, useful tip. All right, guys. So for tip number ten, uh, something that some people know, and you know maybe a lot of you, but for a beginner and a lot of people I find don't know this. Uh, whenever you go into a heist, you can actually use a lot of your weaponized vehicles. Uh, pretty much any of your weaponized vehicles that you can store in your CEO garage or your regular garage. And as you see, I'm going to cycle through some of them. You got the barrage is a good one. Um, there's a few more. The Dune FAV. Uh, you got your half track uh, insurgent pickup custom which is a really good uh, one to go with um, you can also do the the kruma armored although that one is not weaponized and the weaponized tampa which is a really good one especially if you are just playing with randoms and you want to have all the weapons to yourself um, this is a really cool feature and really uh, can be very useful for a lot of missions so i'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate real quick to load right in. We got my friend Moro here with me and uh, two randoms helping out. Hey, what's up? Alright, so as you see, uh, mine's on the left over here. Now, I probably should have loaded in the insurgent so that way Moro, my friend Moro, can uh, have weapons to use, but uh, this will demonstrate the, the same uh, idea. Alright guys, so now we're going to demonstrate the usefulness of bringing a weaponized vehicle on a heist. Looks like a shit show down there. Clear the airstrip before you think about taking that bird into the sky. If the plane gets shot up or 
Moro, what did you do? What did you do? with my mouse. <laughs> <Tart of blue. laughs> this guy's going. Just Tip number 11, self-radio. So I'm going to show you how to set up your own self-radio station. It's basically your own customized station. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm going through and uh, setting it up. So just go ahead and watch that. But yeah, this will allow you to play your own customized radio station in GTA 5. It'll appear as self-radio in your radio wheel. And it's a very good thing to use to, you know, when you're grinding or when you're doing missions. Uh, very nice. Um, the unfortunate thing is other people that are riding with you will not be able to hear your radio station. So what will happen is if they do not have self-radio, it'll go to a random radio station. And if they do have self-radio, it'll switch to their self-radio. You can use the self-radio station in pretty much any GTA environment, you know, in your home, uh, on your yacht, all that. Um, it shows up in the menu under settings, so you can also go there and you can uh, set it to auto-scan. So whenever you add new music, it'll automatically scan every time the game starts and add that to your uh, playlist on your radio station. So it's a very, very cool feature, uh, one I did not know about for the longest time, um, but it's definitely one I use a lot. Something to note that the music that you put on your radio station is still protected, and YouTube will still pick it up, and uh, it'll cause issues if you try to post to YouTube. Tip number 12, custom crew color. Now, this is something I debated whether or not to show, simply it is a little bit more advanced in my opinion. However, I understand a lot of people beginning want to, you know, make that crew, they want to customize it, they want to be able to rank up and all that. So joining a crew or creating a crew is definitely part of the beginning experience in GTA 5. And so I thought I'd go ahead and demonstrate. Now this is showing off how to get the black color uh, since it is not in the default palette. Um, but I believe this will work for pretty much any color uh, that you want. You'll just have to find whatever uh, code um, you need to be able to put in the place that I put uh, mine in right here. So go ahead and uh, watch how I do it. Uh, notice that whenever I end up do putting in the color and it comes up, it won't actually show black. It'll be black and white checked. And that still means, or that's, you know, still good It because uh, it won't show it there, but it will be black whenever you go in-game. As far as I know, if I remember right, it is a default classic black, uh, not like a matte or, or metallic or anything like that. All right, guys, so for tip number 13, I have a uh, neat little trick for you. So you can invite uh, crewmates or other people in the map uh, into your MOC. Um, you can do this in the land or the Avenger, but it is especially cool in the Avenger. Uh, you can fly offshore, you can put in autopilot, and then you can just walk back here and invite all your friends. Let's go ahead and try it out. Invite my friend Shaky right here. There he is. Work perfect if you're trying to assemble your crew together. Tip number 14. All right, guys, so this is a really big one, and I'm not going to try to go through and explain every single thing. I will go ahead and show it on the screen, and I'll go ahead and talk about some of the biggest ones. So obviously some of the biggest ones, or one of the biggest ones, is the ability to equip armor and eat snacks while in mission so this is very good obviously if you need to uh, boost your health and armor you can also show a lot of items such as your armor and your parachute on your out or on a lot of your outfits not all of them but a lot of them and then you can go ahead and save them and have that be part of your outfit um, 
Obviously, from the interactive menu, you can switch to different outfits. And now that you are able to save up to 20, you now have 20 outfits at the, uh, you know, whenever you want, pretty much wherever you are, you can switch to them. A big feature that I'm showing right now is the ammo purchase. And a lot of people don't know this, but you can be out in the middle of, you know, nowhere and you can buy ammo for whatever weapon you need. You can also buy ammo for Mark II weapons. However, you cannot buy special ammo. So as long as you have standard ammo for that weapon, you can buy ammo for it. But if you try to get, you know, let's say you have explosive rounds on the sniper, you will not be able to purchase sniper explosive rounds. All right. You can also call a lot of different services, uh, vehicles. Um, you know, if you're a CEO, you can call in your uh, CEO vehicles. Um, you can switch out your your headgear, you know, all your accessories. Um, this is also where you uh, can activate your heat and night vision goggles and helmets. So that's pretty cool. And uh, it's just a very, very useful, underused uh, thing for a lot of people. You can set your, uh, your spawn point. So whenever you go into a new session or when you get back online, you'll spawn in that location. You can also change who can ride in your vehicle. Um, that's a big one. And you can, uh, like here, you can go through and customize exactly what type of, you know, parachute you want to uh, jump with and what it exactly it'll show when you jump. So like here, you get black smoke, um, black chute, black bag. I hate it when I jump and it's like some rainbow colored chute. And then you can also do cool things like turn the visor up and down on your helmets. Um, you got your, you know, you can set your racing outfit, your bike helmet. So whenever you get on a bike, so it's just a lot of very cool th stuff. So this is also where you would go to change your appearance. So let's say you just want, really want a different character, either a different sex or just a different look. You can go to the top that was just shown there. And for $100,000, you can go and fully customize your character. This is also where you can get your actions. Uh, the action key on the keyboard, if you're playing on PC, is caps lock. You tap it once uh, to be able to do, you know, your basic action, like your basic salute. And then you double tap it to be able to do your ultimate action. So it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, something I just found out, actually. You can also set your walk. Your uh, if you have the illuminated clothing, you can set that there as well. And uh, yeah, it's just it's the interactive menu is such a useful tool. I would definitely advise as a new player getting into it and learning how to use it right off the bat because it'll be your biggest friend. Another cool thing that you can do is with the vehicle doors. You can, uh, if you have your personal vehicle out and you're near it, you can go ahead and open the vehicle doors remotely. You can turn on the music. So this is really cool. Like if you're doing a car show, anything like that. Uh, what I'm displaying here is also a cool feature for a lot of the new planes with uh, the bombers and like the option to carry bombs and all that. You can uh, set the ability for your buddy to be able to control the bombs while you fly. So that can be, you know, good because it's kind of hard to fly and bomb at the same time, or at least if you use the bomb site. Uh, there you can also set your radio station, and you can call in, as usual, your operations center. All right, I know I didn't probably touch on everything. This is a very big one, and I am uh, didn't really necessarily have the time or energy to go through everything, but I did definitely wanted to touch on the highlights. Tip 15, blind fire. So this is a very, very useful tip uh, whenever you're in any kind of uh, combat or fight, especially in a mission, but also in free mode. As you can see, it allows you to keep a very, very low profile, and it is very hard for the enemy to be able to pick you off, especially if you start off a little ways from the edge and then only peek whenever you're going to shoot. It does reduce your accuracy, but it's still very well worth it. Tip 16, sniping. So this is a very basic one. Basically, all you're trying to do is break the enemy's line of sight, uh, do what in, doing whatever you need to, whether it be rolling, uh, moving back and forth, as shown here. Um, it does make it harder to aim, but obviously, uh, if you, once you get good at it, you can be very, very deadly with this technique. 
Okay, tip 17, rudder control for aircraft. So this is not necessarily one I see a lot of people messing up, but for new players, this is definitely something that you want to know, uh, especially for once you start doing bomb runs, strafing, or any kind of fighting or stunt flying. Uh, using your rudder controls along with your ailerons uh, for your banking controls can make the biggest difference. So as you see here, I was able to use my rudder controls to make that last minute adjustment. So I could go ahead and drop my bombs on target or at least close enough to target to be able to kill this online player right here. So uh, using rudder controls alongside of ailerons for sharp banks um, or any kind of maneuvers will help you be able to pull off a lot of cool stunts and uh, not lose altitude in the process. Tip 18, fast roping. So this is one of my favorites. So the two helicopters that you can fast rope to my, uh, my knowledge are the Annihilator and the Maverick. Um, you do have to be at a certain altitude to be able to activate it. The uh, pilot will not be able to see it, but the people fast roping will. Uh, if you are in the Annihilator, you will want to face forward and be sitting on the floor of the Annihilator to be able to fast rope. And as you see right here, once you get to that altitude, if you're using a controller, it's X, um, and then whatever equivalent of that is on the keyboard. Tip 19, the cargo bay doors. So this is a cool feature that Rockstar added uh, to the interactive menu. Uh, the ability to go in and open up the rear cargo door in the Bambushka, the Titan, and the cargo bob so it's very cool feature uh, very awesome uh, unfortunately the interiors are still a little bit glitchy if you are not actually in the vehicle uh, you know like if you load a vehicle if you're not actually in the vehicle keeping it from bouncing around it will usually get damaged um, you know and it is hard to stand up it'll knock you around sometimes uh, the cargo bob is pretty steady thankfully so you can you know stand around in there fairly easily but yeah, it's definitely a very cool feature, definitely something you can use in a lot of role play. The Bambushka definitely has the biggest and widest interior. It, however, is still not wide enough to hold a tank. Uh, will hold a APC and a lot of the other uh, weaponized tactical vehicles. Okay, for tip number 20, using the flare gun to deflect uh, missiles and lock on rockets. Now this is definitely a very, very useful feature and one I did not actually believe until I saw it in actual action. It actually works very well. Um, you do need to you know, be facing kind of generally towards the, uh, the rocket. Um, but if you have a passenger you know, in the side um, that can shoot flares, it's definitely a very, very valid way to protect yourselves. Tip 21, missile evasion in a jet. So basically this is very simple. All you need to do is outmaneuver, which usually means going in a circle. Uh, it can be annoying because sometimes you just get caught going in a circle constantly. But it is definitely a very, very effective way to evade any kind to, of lock-on rockets or missiles. Okay, for tip 22, this is pretty simple. So basically it just involves once you have more than one vehicle, uh, if you get your first one impounded by the police and you don't need it right away, what you can do is you can wait until your next vehicle either gets destroyed or impounded. And if you call in both of them at the same time, they will automatically go to your garage. At least for me, this almost always works. Tip number 23, storing and upgrading weaponized vehicles. So this is a very, very cool feature, one that I was very happy when Rockstar added. And basically it allows you to take the very uh, common, you know, like the Karen technical shown here, the APC, the uh, insurgent, um, the half track, a lot of these uh, new weaponized tactical vehicles that Rockstar come out with. 
you're able to go ahead and store in your personal garage which that is what allows you to then go ahead and use them or at least a lot of them in your missions so the first step obviously is to call Pegasus and get your vehicle that you want so in this case I called for the uh, technical custom or the, the Karen technical uh, what you want to do is grab the vehicle take it to one of your MOC's go ahead and upgrade it um, I find it works best uh, with the Avenger simply because it's easy to transport after you upgrade it and then you just fly it to your personal garage and hop on in your garage and as you can see it's a very uh, very simple easy process and uh, you can do it pretty much with any Pegasus vehicle now for me I've discovered that it seems like whenever I call Pegasus and get the vehicle upgraded and store it the vehicle still will be in the Pegasus menu so I usually am able to go ahead and call you know the default version back in and go ahead and repeat the process so I'm assuming this might be a another duplication glitch uh, I guess something you know for you to check out that might be able to help you make some money Alright, so for tip 24, the scuba gear uh, that Rockstar has finally added to uh, online that you're able to get now. Um, it is very good, very cool feature. Uh, you can swim very fast. You got the flashlight, uh, limited oxygen. Uh, it transforms instantly, so you can put a helmet on, and then whenever you jump in the water, it'll transform into the actual scuba outfit, so that's very cool. Alright, so before you attempt to go parachuting, if you want to get the full experience, you first want to obviously get a uh, parachute that you like so for me I have the uh, the black chute now you want to make sure these are equipped not just bought um, I'll show you here in a second so reserve chute see I own the black chute but I don't have one equipped um, it is kind of buggy or I'm not sure if Rockstar made it that way in particular uh, or at least for a reason uh, where usually every time you use a reserve chute you have to go back to the store and get another one so that's very unfortunate now, maybe there's a trick where you can uh, re-equip it in the interactive menu, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm still messing around with that. Let's see, so like here, if you want smoke, go ahead and equip it. And parachute bay, we want the black, so we're good. All right. Okay, let me know how you get on. So we are ready to go parachuting. I will see you in the air. Alright guys, so I believe we're close to the top and we get ready to jump here and we are jumping out over the main part of the city. We're going to see if we can make it at least close to the military base or at least see how far we can make it. Alright, let's go ahead and jump. Alright, go ahead and pull our chute. Now, as you see, since I quick, uh, equipped the black chute, I have the black chute uh, opened here. And uh, for our first little tip or trick here, uh, if you press A on your controller, it'll bring up your smoke. So as you see here, I selected black smoke. I have an unlimited supply and I can just do this. This comes in very handy for if you're jumping in formation or for role play, you know, if your buddies are trying to form up on you, if you're trying to do any kind of cool videos, stuff like that. Um, very very cool feature all right so the next thing i'm going to demonstrate is which uh weapons and how many or uh how you can use them so as you see you can pretty much use any pistol um while you're parachuting uh, pretty much any one-handed weapon for the most part obviously not melee and all that um, go ahead and cycle through them I like how the revolver, the new revolver has like a little extra smoke effect. And then here with your micro, let's see, let's cycle back to it. Your micro SMG, this thing is definitely gonna be your most lethal uh, weapon overall for uh, while you're parachuting. It's also a good one while you're driving as well. Now, as you see, whenever you reload, instead of going into a reload animation, it just goes up, pauses for a second, and then back down so it's a little unrealistic but hey you know what I'm not gonna complain 
right? And as you notice here as well, if you try to face all the way back, there's a point where instead of looking back, it'll switch over. So there we go. So I like how Rockstar added that a little bit of realism right there. All right. So let's go ahead and cycle through, do the same thing with first person view. Obviously you can do your little motions uh, here without a weapon. Cool features, you can also use your attachments such as the flashlight while you're up here. Not that it's gonna be that useful, but hey. Now you are limited in your range. I'm facing down as far as I can without actually pushing the parachute down. So that's as far as I can go right, left. You are way more limited obviously when you're in first person. Now that we demonstrated the weapons and the smoke, uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate uh, outfit changes and using the night vision. Um, unfortunately, to my knowledge, you can't use the helmet vision. Uh, you can't put down the visor while you're in the air like this. However, what I can do is I can go to style accessories. I can find uh, one of the night vision ones like this and activate it. And there you go. So let's see if I go into first person. Looks very cool. Definitely a good role play uh, thing to know. Let's go ahead and switch out. Perfect. All right. Now, as you can see, I can also go here. I can go to style. I can click different outfits. So let's say I want to jump over water. I can switch to my scuba gear outfit. I can switch to my flight suit again, and uh, you know I can do pretty much any outfit I want. It's pretty cool. All right, we're getting close to the base here, and so let's go ahead and put it all together. Oh, before we land, let's go ahead and go over some of the controls. It's pretty simple. Obviously, left, pull left. I like how they added the animations like that. Fairly realistic. Uh, for forward, you're pulling down and apart. Uh, to speed up, you're pulling in and down. Or not speed up, sorry, to slow down. You had a, uh, it won't slow you down completely, but it will help. Um, and also, you can press both bumpers together, which will do this. And it will zoom you in and slow you down. This is primarily for whenever you're landing. But you can also use it to kind of hang in the air a little bit and go straight down a little bit faster or not faster but a little bit more you won't travel quite as far uh, horizontally right. so let's go ahead and demonstrate the reserve now so what you can do is you can go ahead and cut it and you're gonna know right away when you cut it if you have a reserve or not so if you don't have a reserve you're gonna ragdoll uh, and you're gonna fall to your death if you have a reserve you'll go you'll pretty quickly turn over and go into this mode where you can kind of control it. There we go. Got our reserve. Coming in for the landing. Go ahead and do this. Got our weapons. Do our roll. And there you go. Um, I'm sure there's more tips and tricks maybe that I didn't think of or to cover uh, for the parachuting uh, thing, but uh, if you think of any or you know of any that I don't, uh, please comment below. And uh, I'll tell you what, there's not much more um, satisfying feeling than uh, coming down and killing somebody in midair while you're parachuting. It's pretty cool. Thanks guys for watching my video. Uh, sorry it took so long. I hope I was able to give you some information that you did not know already. And I apologize for the still crappy audio. I am still working on trying to get the proper setup. And I will see you later.